Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, around the world, coming into your homes and wishing you a blessed and wonderful day. Um, if it's the first time you're passing through, please hit like, subscribe. And uh, subscribe if you want to get more videos, of course. Like if you like the content and share if you think it will benefit someone else. Existing subscribers, thank you for your support. I know I change my hairstyles a lot, so yeah, I get your comments. But hey, that's just the way I am. It's the way I've always been. So don't worry about it too much. Anyway, what's this piece of hair sticking up here? <laughs> anyway, um, today's... today's um, video is about Kanye West Sunday service and the first thing I thought when I heard about Kanye West Sunday service is why is he holding it in Jamaica on a Friday if it's called Sunday service why isn't it being held on a Sunday anyway I then thought well maybe it's because the majority of people who go to church will be at church and they're not going to leave their church to come to his concert in Emancipation Park also Emancipation Park it's kind of um it's kind of in a world of its own, isn't it? It's a kind of a tourist area. And so um, Robert Hill of the, let me tell you what this company is, organisation is the Kingston and St Andrew Municipal Corporation, um, in brackets KSMAC. Um, they actually approved it within two days. Apparently um, Kanye West... Um, producers or organisers contacted him, asked them if they could put on a concert and within two days they got express approval. It was approved and completed and done. Within that time, Robert Hill had contacted the police, he'd contacted the fire brigade, all the emergency services. Everything was in place to accommodate Kanye West in Emancipation Park in Kingston. Now we all know on a Friday night, it's just like any anywhere in the world. On a Friday night, everybody wants to get home. It's rush hour. There's lots of traffic. And it's no different in Kingston. So it was mayhem, apparently. But anyway, it went ahead. And the reason why I think, with my sceptical head, why Kanye West Sunday service is held on a Friday has nothing to do with it being held on a Friday. But the key is in the name, Sunday service. Um, I've heard that in the new world order what they're planning in the future is to close all the shops and businesses on a sunday and reintroduce the sunday service for church and i know back in my day which is probably way before your day that all the shops used to be closed on a Sunday. There was no shops, no businesses open on a Sunday. And rumours are, is that they want to reintroduce that. So I was wondering whether or not that Kanye West title is to make us, you know, to kind of put it in our minds about the Sunday service. You know, a lot of it is um, subliminal. A lot of these things that celebrity do celebrities do is subliminal so maybe it is to kind of make us aware in the future also like I said a lot of people on a Sunday are not going to be available in Jamaica they are going to be in their own churches so there's also a lot of spiel and going on about oh he's selling merchandise it's just to make money it's got nothing to do with Christianity. I mean, it's almost like they think Christians are not supposed to make money. It's really a bizarre thing to say he's making profit. As though, because he's a Christian, he's not allowed to make profit. Now, for those of Christians who know their Bible, in Matthew 25, 14, it does say God endorses investment and making profit. Because in that, it talks about the servant that had five talents and the servant that had two talents and the servant that God gave one talent to. Now, the servant that um, had the five talents, he doubled it. And when God came back and spoke to him and he said, oh, I've doubled my five talents, I now have ten, ten talents to give you, God said, well done, my good and faithful servant. When the one that had two talents, he did the same. He doubled it. And God said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Even more shall be given unto you. And, you know, he praised them for investing and making money on what they had. But the one who had one talent and just um, buried it and didn't do nothing with it, 
no investment, nothing. And that's what people are like. Some people, they have talents or they have skills and they just sit at home and they don't do nothing with it. They don't try to exploit it. And so what happened is the one talent that that guy had that they buried, he took it, God took it away from him and gave it to the one that had 10 talents, the one who had the most money. The one who had made the most profit. And the one who did the one who had the one, that what was given to him was taken away. And he was banished. He was kicked out, said, You're you know, you're useless, you're slothful, you're whatless. So people shouldn't really be condemning Kanye West for selling his merchandise or trying to promote his album, which is called Jesus is King. Now, the thing is, people are questioning about his Christianity. Now, it's a big step for not only you, but your wife and your children to be baptised. So all of them have been recently baptised. They're all born again Christians. And people are saying it's a publicity stunt. It's a bit extreme. I mean, when you think about Kanye West, as far back as 2004, when he did his album, Jesus Walks, I love the album. And I used to play it on the radio as a DJ all the time because it resonated with me. It's very, very powerful. So in 2004, um, Kanye West was influenced by Jesus. And I know in a subsequent interview, he said he would never um, endorse religion or promote or do anything with religion. But then... In a concert, I think in 2014, he spoke again about he that he was a Christian. So I think he's been struggling along the way with Christianity. There's nothing wrong with that. You see, when you listen to the lyrics of Jesus Walks, it does say uh, in that song or in that, well, yeah, in that song that if I talk about God, my music won't get played. So that could be a reason why he diverted or digressed and went into rap and went into the, uh, you know a more secular type of music we don't know his motivations and if that's the case he's probably tried to be like jay-z biggie smalls and when he's talking about lucifer because that is what they were talking about that they, they have a lot of blasphemous music and so when you're trying to be relevant and current in the music industry or in the entertainment in industry, the people who are not grounded will go with the flow. And could that be what he has been doing? Maybe he had a Christian influence all the time. His father was a Black Panther and then he changed into be a Christian counsellor. So he could have had that influence from back then. And I know that when his mother died, he was traumatised and that kind of pushed him over the edge. And even during that period, that could have kind of prompted him towards Christianity. We don't know people's motivations. We can all point a finger. We can all make judgments. I don't know. I don't know um, Kanye West from Adam, so I really cannot say. People are saying his association with Donald Trump. Oh, that's not Christian. Anybody with any this and that, they wouldn't endorse Donald Trump. But if you are a true Christian, one of the... Um, one of the main ingredients is love. You love everybody. You love your enemy. So you can't knock him for that either. Anyway... I wrote a few notes, as I normally do, um, just to make sure that I remembered everything. Um, Jesus is spelled Jesus is his one of his 2000, 2013 album portrays himself as Jesus with a crown of corn, thorns on his head. And people are saying that's blasphemous because he's saying he's Jesus. Uh, references have been made to his mental instability since his breakdown in 2016. I mean, people are even talking about him being the Antichrist. He could be paving the way for the Antichrist. But even then, that is for that is um, prophesied in the Bible. And if people believe in the Bible, that is prophecy fulfilling itself. So you can't knock him for that either. <sighs> anyway, um, let me see... Um,
since he has wanted to spread the gospel, he could sincerely want to spread the word of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But it is a question of taste. For me, the lyrics, I mean, I'm going to put the um, YouTube video. Somebody actually went there and videotaped it. And so um, so the lyrics for me sound a bit contrived. It's not my type, but I did like um, the author, the choir sounded authentic and credible so I kind of like them they I were more resonated with them than I did with Kanye West and his music because I was trying to even make out the words and it just felt it just felt like he was just putting words together you know when you when you don't know what to write so the words just come together and they don't they're not meaningful but that's what it came like when I was listening to those lyrics and sometimes when you're not spirit led that can happen so he probably stills to do, still needs to do some more work on his lyrics. Um, what else did I write? Who is his audience? Because you're going to Jamaica, which is a reggae culture, really. And I mean, when I went to Jamaica, admittedly, 90% of the TV channels were, either, were American. And then you had maybe 5% Hispanic and... Um, another five percent well I don't even know if it was five percent I only found one Jamaican channel on the TV but there might have been more but I might couldn't find them but then so does that mean that Jamaica now has a rap audience I don't think it'd be that large and then you'd have to be a rap audience in order to embrace Kanye West's music with his new direction of music um what else Oh. Yeah, in 2009, Kanye West said he'd never go into religion, even though he believed in God. And that was in an interview with an online magazine called Bossip, which I assume is a play on gossip, but with black people. Um, 2014, Kanye declared himself a Christian during one of his concerts. A lot of celebrities, high-profile cele celebrities are now talking about Jesus. And you notice when they have the awards, everybody's, oh, give thanks to God, oh, Jesus is king and all of that kind of stuff. So, there, you know, there's. I think that's got to do with our heritage, the black influence. I think our parents, our grandparents have drummed it into us so that even now, Christian Christianity seems relevant to a lot of black people and so that's why they say it we don't know if they say it because of any depth or whether it's automatic because sometimes because you're raised in that kind of culture when you say oh I give thanks to God and Jesus and stuff like that sometimes it's an automatic thing that you're doing rather than actually feeling it in your gut and being a Christian so but a lot of high profile celebrities are going that way or are speaking of Jesus and speaking of God and we know Beyonce has her church even though I haven't heard much about it recently recently to be honest um what else is there different kinds of christians like different kinds of music a lot of christians traditional christians don't like gospel they like the traditional old school c of e kind of um hymns that's what they like um i like reggae gospel um i don't like rap gospel and kind of in between R&B gospel but really I like African gospel and I like reggae gospel because um, I like the music it kind of gives me a good vibe so like I said you know everybody has their own taste and could Kanye West just be appealing to someone with his taste and trying to bring those people who like his music to Christ could be just as simple as that it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be um suspicious and suspect Kanye is a Gemini so there's two shades to his character which could be the reason why he kind of stumbles between one side and another you know so what have I got here to summarize um oh Kanye West didn't only conduct a Sunday service in Jamaica he also conducted a Sunday service in Jamaica Queens in New York City um so Jesus has been on Kanye's mind since he produced Jesus Walks in 2004. And I think that was one of his best tracks. That's what introduced me to Kanye West. I wasn't interested in him before he did that track. And I haven't been interested in him since that track. But that was, for me, 
why I liked him and I thought, wow, he's a genius, a creative genius to do that. And, and, and the video accompanying it is so powerful. So, yeah, so that to me speaks his truth. And I think that was a genuine track that came from him. Um, so is his new direction to um, appeal to the people who like his music, like what I said. Kanye West will always be an entrepreneur. And like I said, the Bible does endorse inv um, investment and making profits. Um, and is, is it about lifting the name of Jesus and using a variety of music stars to do that? Um, I've already said Kanye, Kanye's net west is 250 million and Jamaica may have felt obliged to accommodate him and his posse. Um, but I wonder how they benefited. Or is it just so that they can say Kanye West came to Jamaica? That's not going to do much. But I don't know how they benefited. But apparently the tourist board felt as though they would benefit by this. And he's making a film called Jesus is King. I wonder if he'll use Tyler Perry's studios to do that. And that's all for now. I look forward to your opinions, your comments, your thoughts. Bye-bye.